Welcome to Wisdom for the Day. This is your daily dose of insight and inspiration, where we explore the timeless wisdom of the book of Proverbs. Each episode is a short five-minute journey covering two Proverbs, in order, guiding you through the entire book in a year. Join us for thoughtful reflections and practical advice to enrich your life and elevate your day. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 242. We're in the 20th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 16 through 18. Get security from someone who guarantees a stranger's debt. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. In verse 16, You cannot trust this man's promise. He's promised on behalf of a foreigner. Perhaps the man is hiding an evil secret. So you got to keep his coat until he pays. See Exodus 22, 26 through 27. Earlier in Proverbs, we were told not to take a coat from a poor person as a pledge, since they might suffer from the cold without it. But here... It's considered acceptable to take a garment as a pledge from someone who offers collateral for a stranger. Why? Because anyone willing to put up the collateral for a stranger is acting foolishly and lacks common sense. In verse 17, A man eats a meal. His food tastes good and sweet, and he enjoys it. But suddenly something's wrong. The meal tastes awful. He breaks his teeth. His mouth is full of stones. Evil actions are like this. Evil behavior may tempt us and attract us. We might feel happy. We might be joyous when we do an evil action. But soon it's going to feel terrible. And in the end, we're going to feel shame. The man in verse 17 stole his food. Or maybe he cheated someone else to get the meal. In the end, he receives his punishment. Something gained through fraud might bring temporary pleasure. But in the end... The deceit will ruin the joy. In verse 18, be careful when you make an important decision. When a king goes to war, people are going to die. and He can't decide to go to war while he's angry. He's got to think carefully. He's got to get good advice from honest advisors. For any plan to succeed, it needs more than just the person making the plan. It also requires at least one advisor to provide guidance. We see that in Luke chapter 14, 31 through 33. So let me ask you, when you make plans, are you hesitant to listen to others who might offer a different advice? If so, is that because you don't trust their wisdom? Or are you afraid they might be right? Well, that wraps up today's episode. But come back tomorrow to pick more of King Solomon's brain. For some free Wisdom of the Day merch, visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets. While you're there, don't forget to join our community as a member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro and outro music by Weston McCurry. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and share it with a friend. Until next time, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. Hey, let me ask you, do you ever feel defeated as a Christian in these times we live in today? Well, I have a podcast for you, God's Loving Sacrifice. My friend Gayla does a Bible study to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. She encourages you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with the world in need. So listen at GodsLovingSacrifice.com or whatever podcast app you use. God's Loving Sacrifice, the true essence of faith in God.